It has been a while since the last time we talked about a drink, but today is another day to talk about one. Today we are talking about a gin has, we're not just talking about it, I will be making it um, and hopefully showing you how either in pictures or videos or both we will see um, what I come up with. But to be honest, I have said before, I'm not such a big fan of alcohol because I feel like it tastes too alcoholic. Uh, it really has to taste nice for me to actually want to drink it. Um, and that's why we were trying out a lot of different drinks, uh, especially this summer and before, uh, and hopefully also after. But I had never heard about a gin has before. I had um, heard about gin and tonic, and that's kind of all I thought you could make with gin. And that's kind of embarrassing to say out loud. But one evening in the summer, I think, my mother and I were sitting and talking about alcohol somehow. And I accidentally, or maybe not accidentally, but I said I had one bottle of gin. Uh, Morten and I had one bottle of gin that we had not even opened yet. And we had no idea what to do with it. And she just asked us, asked us like, haven't you just made a gin has? And we were like, uh, no, no, what is it? So we had clearly not tried it before, but we ended up doing it more than once, more than twice, a lot of times actually. Um, because first off we wanted to use the gin and second off it's just really, really good. So we asked my mother then how do you do it? We asked the internet how do you do it? And we took gin in hand and some soda and some syrup and we just started mixing and that's what I would like to uh, not, I guess not talk with you about but I would like to share the recipe that we use that we really like um, to make our gin has. And we have made it as I said a lot of times by now. It is really good and I might actually um, buy another gin at some point just because I really like this drink. It's very fresh and very summery and it tastes mostly like syrup and soda, which I quite like. So it's a drink that I am happy to make, happy to serve and happy to drink. Nonetheless, for the actual, well, making it part, it really doesn't take very long takes what five minutes or so I'm not even sure it takes that long and you only need soda syrup uh, we use ice cubes too and then uh, your gin but for the ingredients like for one drink we usually use uh, two ice cubes one to two centiliters of gin three centiliters of mango syrup uh, the juice of one quarter lime and then uh, 10 centiliters of lemon soda, that's like Faxicondi, Sprite, Carlsberg Sport, whatever you got. And then one quarter of lime in a wedge to decorate. And we really just do, I guess you can just mix it however you like actually. But we usually put in the ice cubes first and then we do the syrup, the gin and then the soda at last. And then we just squeeze in a bit of the... Uh, lime juice, stir, and then decorate it with another lime. And it looks really good. It tastes really good. As I said, it mostly tastes like soda and syrup. So that is really nice and super easy to make. Uh, we will be making it even more than we already have because we are quite a fan of it. But you can also make it uh, like in different variations. You can use different types of uh, syrup or different type of soda to kind of alter it to whatever your taste is. The one to two centiliters of gin we have in ours is mainly because, again, I don't like the taste of really strong alcohol. So we usually just take like a little bit of it and that's also why it tastes so sweet. Uh, but if you drink enough, you will also be able to feel the booze. So if you want to drink it because you want to get drunk, you can also do that. You can also just pour a little extra gin in there. And I think that's actually all for this recipe. As I said, it is really easy. I am impressed with how good it tastes. And uh, especially since 
Again, I don't like alcohol, so this is like a big step for me to actually want to make this. Just talking about it now makes me want to uh, go make one. So that's kind of wild to me. Uh, and I think I have to. Like, it's is it noon yet? It's noon yet. We can go make a drink. So I guess that's what I will be doing. Um, but yeah, I really like it a lot. I enjoyed making it. My boyfriend also likes it a lot. Uh, we usually drink it together because it's sad drinking alone. It's not really sad, but I don't see any point in it. Um, so yeah, I will stop blabbering on and leave you to it. I hope you will try the recipe out. It is so dang good and you can really alter it however you want to fit your taste. Um, but we like it this way, like this exact a recipe is the one we use and the one we really like that fits our tastes for alcohol, for syrup and for for soda. So it, it fits us perfectly, might not be with you, you can just alter it until it does. And if you like this video or if you like the recipe, you can choose to give it a thumbs up, you can choose to subscribe to stay for future videos or ring the bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. You can also tell me in the comments down below if there's any other drink you would like me to try out. Um, we have a lot of tools to making drink, we just don't have the imagination. So if you have any idea, you can tell me in the comments down below. I would love to try some other drinks out, uh, see if I can find some that I also really like. And I just hope you all have a happy life, one day at a time.